What is up, you losers? Just kidding. Hi, besties. I am uh, waking up still. We're still waking up. Uh, we have our coffee. Where's our coffee? Here's the coffee. I swear, guys, if you're not making your own coffee, you are missing out because I make my own coffee from home all the time. And trust me, like I like, actually don't trust me. I don't ever get coffee when I'm out and about. Like I just don't crave it. I feel like a lot of the times it's oversweet and it's icky. But this, love her, love her. So good. Um, you're probably already have watched it, but I just actually, last night, was it this morning? No, it was definitely last night. Last night, I, I was like, I literally couldn't remember because I'm still kind of tired right now. But last night, I uploaded my little weekly vlog. Even though it was only like two days worth of footage, um, it was a lot of me just ranting. So I hope you enjoyed that because I'm gonna try to just, you know, allow my footage to be more raw, more, I just wanna keep everything that I talk about. like. Obviously, if I'm talking about, I don't know, stuff I don't want to include in the video, I'll cut it out. But for the most part, I love uploading just vlogs that are really raw and uncut. And I just, I sent my sissy a video of hers last night, but JC, love her. She's like a booktuber, love her. And you're probably like, girl, okay, we get it. No, you don't get it. I freaking love when I find YouTubers that are just themselves that keep the footage as like i don't even know how to explain like raw natural and just i just love it. it feels like i'm hanging out with somebody on facetime like i love that feeling so and i hope you get that feeling from me because i i love just sitting here and hanging out and just vibing you know what i mean anyway we have what's on the agenda you're probably wondering what's the agenda girl okay we can hear you rant all day but like what's the agenda the agenda for today's video is we are going to be doing, I want to call a Sunday, Monday reset. You're probably like, why are you calling it a Sunday, Monday reset? Hear me out. My Sunday, in quotation marks, my Sunday reset always occurs on a Monday. But I didn't do that on Monday. Don't know why, I just didn't do it on Monday. I think I wasn't feeling good i just i probably was enough actually i was recording i was vlogging for you guys on monday and then my weekend started so i just decided not to i think i tidied up the home a little bit but i didn't do a whole lot so today is thursday we're a few days later than what i would want and i like having my sunday monday reset on monday because then it sets me up for the weekend and then i don't have to do it on the weekend but Rio, dog, what do you want? The sass, look at him, he's like, oh, you don't wanna to talk to me? Okay, I'm gonna turn my back to you and sit over here. Dramatic, sir, dramatic. Anyway, yeah, I usually like doing my reset on a Monday because then it sets me up on the weekend and then I don't have to do it, but we didn't do it, so we're gonna to try to do some of it today, so. Some of the things that I want to do is, should I just make a list? Should I make a list with you guys? I think I was going to, and then I decided I didn't want to, but we're gonna try to write some things in the planner, and then we're gonna try to cross things off. When I can cross things off, I don't know why, there's such just a feeling I get. I'm like, yeah, I did that. I did that. If I get to cross it off with a little check mark, check mark, you, you get what I mean? Like I do it in my phone, like on the notes app, but there's something about it when you write it on a piece of paper and you just go, check. I'm like, yeah, I'm that person. I did that, I did that. Anyway, we are gonna make a little list. What color should I use? These are my favorite pens, let me show you. Let me show you, oh, are those all? Oh, my favorite pencil. Oh my God, I thought I lost her. I think today, not the hair, don't mind the cat hair. Ooh, more cat hair. Okay. Um low-key kind of feeling like an orange and pinky vibe Ooh, these are kind of cute should i do dark pink or should i do light i'm gonna do dark pink and orange okay so 
excuse me, that really raised my anxiety. That really raised my anxiety. I was like, ooh, the bells. Anyway, okay, on the agenda. I swear, I use this notebook for everything and it's not organized one bit. Oh, okay, so I already made Loki like a little to-do list. I did Target. I wanna go to Target and I need to get a vinegar bottle. My, you're probably like a vinegar bottle, girl, what is that? Like I use vinegar to clean my counters, to clean everything because it's non-toxic for cats. So I literally use a little spray bottle that I buy from there and I pour apple cider vinegar and water, water in there. It stopped working because I think a lot of the apple cider vinegar, vinegar that I have uses like the mother in it, which is like the little floaty stuff. I don't know. I think that got inside the part of the spray bottle where like the water goes through. Okay, it ruined the bottle. That's the point. So I need to get a new one. I also need to grab kitty like litter garbage bags. I usually would buy them from the Dollar Tree, but they're so thin that I don't want to do that because I find that a waste of money. I'm like, I might as well just go and buy heavy duty sturdy ones because I don't want to scoop some poop and then the bag rips. No, thank you. So we're going to do that. I also need to grab some toothpaste, which I buy the Sensodyne. I buy really toothpaste all over the place. Like I've been, I've been just, just dabbling because I can't really find a toothpaste and I'm like, ooh, I love. I kind of want to start using this toothpaste that I saw. They're like toothpaste tablets. I think Lush has them, but I think you could just order them from wherever. I'll probably order some from Amazon. Oh, I low-key need deodorant too. And I was going to order more on Amazon but I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. So I think I might buy Lumi deodorant. Don't really know. I never really liked the scent of them. I always thought it smelled a little weird, but I'm not gonna lie, the deodorant I use is natural and it's handmade. Not by me, by somebody on a farm. I ordered it from Amazon, okay? And that one also smelled weird and it took me a minute to get used to, but now I like it. So I feel like I'm, I need to give Lumi a try. So I think we're gonna, where's the purple pen? I don't wanna like write in purple oh i don't want to write in a different color after i've already started the okay so we need to do oh my god wait that's the different that's the wrong pen no this is like a different purple and it's not even working oh my god it's not even working no no bro I hate it when this happens. Okay, so I thought the pen was in. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, whatever. We're just gonna write it in pink, I guess. So I'm gonna say Lumi deodorant. And then what else do I need to, I was gonna use this to make, oh, the Sunday reset thing. So Sunday reset stuff that I wanna do. I'm gonna do. Okay, first thing on the Sunday reset thing, if I don't get to anything else on this to-do this list, I wanna get to this one, first and foremost. Cleaning the litter box. That is a thing because those kitties really mess it up. So cleaning the litter box. I also need to vacuum. That needs to definitely be done. And I need to do the dishes. Dishes, because there's some dishes building up. And I like to hand wash all of them because in my opinion, I feel like I use less water than the dishwasher. So I like to just hand wash my dishes. That's probably not the popular opinion, but I do it. I personally like doing it. Also, this is really random, but I saw a video and this is just what I saw. I'm not sending this out as like a public service announcement, but this is just what I saw in a video and heard. And then I was like, oh, don't want to do that anymore. I heard that those dishwasher tablet things, the like the dishwasher little cubes that you put into the square and you turn on the dishwasher and it cleans. I, I saw a video saying that people were finding like those were leaving residue on your dishes and stuff and people were getting sick. Not a fan. I stopped using those a long time ago when I first moved in here. I've been just hand washing my dishes and then I'll do like vinegar to cleanse all the dishes. And I feel like it makes the dishes 10 times cleaner because like when I touch it, it's like squeaky clean. So 
vinegar is ever but should be everybody's best friend because i genuinely i'm like nope not gonna do that again at least like with the dishwasher anyway okay cleaning the litter box one i need a vacuum i need to do the dishes in the sink i also need to clean the bathroom if i do all of those things dude i will be so happy which honestly the bathroom takes i want to say under an hour it seems like it would take a lot but it doesn't and oh i totally forgot i went to the dollar tree and i bought like a little like hand scrubber and some cleaning gloves and i have some scrub daddies to use i just clean the bathroom with vinegar and then i also do uh usually like the pink the pink bottle stuff that i use that in the bathroom and then i use it with vinegar to really cleanse everything um and then i need to do the toilet i need to do the sink oh i also wanted to mop and sweep i don't know if i'll have time for that but i'm just gonna make it on the list just in case i think the first thing i should do is i think i should go to target first and foremost because i definitely need a bottle of like the bottle to put the vinegar in to clean because that's going to be kind of hard to use vinegar if i don't have anything to spray it with so i'm going to get that i also need to yeah i think i need to do target first because i definitely need a few of these things and then i need to go to petco I'm trying to think is there anything else i need to do i kind of want to taco bell breakfast crunch wrap should i get a breakfast crunch wrap it's still technically my weekend even though yesterday was the last day of my weekend i work later today but still technically my weekend until that clock in so i think i should treat myself i always make sure on the weekends i treat myself i don't hold back when it comes to my weekends i'm getting my wine i'm getting my pizza i'm getting my korean corn dogs i'm getting everything okay throughout the week i can eat clean i can do all that but the moment my weekend hits i'm like no no don't even get the greens away from i don't even eat that many greens i don't eat greens in general i mean i do but i don't but no joke i don't mess around when it comes to my weekend man and food oh i'm gonna treat myself so i kind of want a breakfast crunch wrap that could severely mess me up though but like it just tastes so good and i also y'all need to get on this get a taco bell crunch wrap or i'm not talking about a crunch wrap sorry i'm talking about a breakfast crunch wrap did i say breakfast crunch wrap already i don't remember get a breakfast bacon crunch wrap or any meat that you prefer and add in chipotle spicy chipotle oh it's so good so good and i'll usually add pico de gallo but i've noticed like anytime i eat pico de gallo it like get some things moving which not sure why does pico de gallo is is a tomato fiber i don't know but it washes me out okay it doesn't wash me out but like you know what i'm trying to say i'm gonna stop talking because i think i'm giving everybody the egg but yeah so i don't think i'm gonna add pico unfortunately but anyway we need to get going so i will catch up with you guys once we have gotten all those things going and doing along i'm gonna try to bring you with me <sighs> And it's the morning so maybe it won't be as busy i hope not i really hope not i want to vlog in there and record but we will see because i haven't done that ever my anxiety might be a little bit like oh girl i don't know about this but we're gonna try to vlog in target and pick up i don't know anyway i will see you guys when i see you so bye
I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy right now. When I tell you, I have had the most productive last two days and I can't even, like obviously I did the work. I've been cleaning, I've been cooking, I've been getting my life in line and in check, but it would not have been possible if I was not trying to give you guys content and entertainment. Genuinely, genuinely, I have not been this productive in forever and who knew all it would take is me saying, let's film a YouTube video, let's bust out a camera, let's set it up and let's be productive. I swear something about recording does it for me. Like something about it. I don't know why the idea of doing all this for entertainment for you guys helps me actually get up and do the work, but it does, it just does. And it makes sense. I don't know how it makes sense. It just makes sense for me. And I'm just proud of myself because I did that. I did that. What did I do? You're probably like, girl, can you explain to us what you have been doing? Okay, obviously you saw me cleaning yesterday. Got that out of the way which I didn't even really like explain to you guys the gist of my cleaning day yesterday. I woke up and it was uh, my partner's day off. It was Jake's day off and um, he was home. And so usually whenever he's home, it's kind of hard for me to get one recording done and get things done because when, when he's home, I just want to hang out and just like relax and kick it back with him and just be cozy and not do anything. But I've been trying to get into the habit and I've been doing actually really good of it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing pretty well. Whenever he's home, I'm like, I still need to get stuff done. Like, obviously, that's my best friend. I wanna hang out with him all day. But the reality of the situation is things need to be done and they need to get done. So um, we had, I think, breakfast. Did we get breakfast? I don't remember what we had, but I had my coffee. I don't even think I had breakfast. No, I literally just had coffee. We, I made us both coffee and then I just jumped right into cleaning, man. Like no joke. I was like, okay, what should I do first? I think I started off with the kitchen. I did the kitchen. Um, I literally just mopped the floors. I swept the floors. Like I cleaned all of the litter box area. I got behind my, my shoe rack because all of like, I don't know about you, but like your shoe rack, it collects dirt at the bottom, okay? I be going places, so my shoes are dirty. So I had to yank that out, sweep underneath there, mop underneath there. I cleaned out the fridge, which God knows how long all that stuff was in there for. There was like some things in there that I was like, I forgot about that. Um, so I cleaned out those things, threw away all like old food. I'm trying to remember what else I did. I did the dishes, yeah, I did the dishes, I worked on the counters, cleaned out the fridge, did literally everything. And then, then Jake vacuumed. I was gonna vacuum, but I was like, you know, I'm doing all this, I need to just not vacuum. I don't know why. So he vacuumed, oh, and then I also went into the bathroom and I cleaned out my entire bathroom from head to toe. Like, no joke, I cleaned the shower. I cleaned the toilet, I cleaned the sink, I cleaned the mirrors, and I swept and mopped. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I did that and the kitchen all in one day. That would, I'm telling you, like on a normal day, if I wasn't recording, I would not have finished all of that, which is insane. Insane, man. And I'm just so proud of myself because I've been wanting to get so much of that kind of cleaning done in a minute. Like I, I usually keep my home relatively clean, but I haven't done a deep, deep clean in so long. So getting all that done set me up perfectly for the week. And that was my Monday, technically, of my week. Even though what I like when I filmed all that, it was on a Thursday. It was the first day of my week. So like back at work. So it was my Monday in a way. So I'm so glad or yeah. So I'm so glad that I got all that set up before work and I came home to a clean home. Like, I don't know what it is about coming home to a clean home, but it makes me so happy. And I honestly feel like because I set it up yesterday and getting the home clean and just nice and put together that it made today even more productive, which let me explain. Woke up this morning, I had my coffee. And then because the bathroom, because the home, everything was clean, I was like, let's just continue 
that domino effect and let's just do more stuff that I need to do. Which this, let me explain. This has been on my to-do list for I don't know how long. It's the air fryer. Love the air fryer. The air fryer, best friend. I don't know if y'all have an air fryer, but if you don't, you need to get an air fryer because it has changed the game for me. I've had an air fryer, I wanna say for the last five years, but um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I've had an air fryer for the last five years, but this one, my sister and her partner got um, Jake and I a new air fryer for like Christmas or something. And I, w I love this air fryer. It's so much bigger. It's just, it's better. It's way better than the first one I had. The first one I had was so freaking janky. Like it was like a 20, it was like a $30 air fryer. And I just bought it all on a whim from Best Buy, Best Buy because I was struggling at home in the heat one, like during a certain summer. And I just needed something that would, you know, cook me whatever I needed. But I got rid of that one and then they got us this new one. And I, I used it so much that the inside of it got crusted with so much grease. And when Jake and I moved in here, I genuinely did not clean it before we brought it over here. I usually am like, I'll clean out my things before I bring it to a new home. But we, we, we had done so much packing that I was like, the last thing I want to do before I move out is clean this air fryer. I don't know why it's something so easy, low key to do. I don't know why I didn't do it, but I ended up just putting the air fryer in a plastic bag and then I brought it over to the new apartment. And then when we moved in, I used it once and it set off the fire alarm. So I was like, nope, nope, we're not using it anymore. I'm not using it anymore until I clean it out. Clean it out. And today, finally, what is it? When did we move in? We moved in on February, so January, February, March, April, May, June. Four months later, we got to cleaning it, okay? I know, that's crazy. I know that's crazy. But it's clean, and that's all that matters. So we got it clean, um, and then today I meal prepped potatoes. We meal prepped, oh, my sister is calling me back. Now you choose to call me back when I'm filming? Do you mind? She does not mind. How does that light work? Does it work really well? Does it stay light or does it die really fast? Like, no. For like 20, 30 minutes. This thing stays like charged for like a, a long time. Can you send me that link? Because I was looking at lights last night and I kept finding This one something. though, this one though, you attach to your camera. So I don't know if your camera has, but you can easily set it up. You can easily just set it up and just set it like it sits flat on the thingy. But this the little device thing is to attach to your camera, so you like slide it into a thing and then you screw this okay. down to tighten it. I'm, and then this has like where I can I plug my mic. Okay, word. Oh, let me. Camera? What? Is it specified to your camera or is it for any cameras? It's fit, no, so the, it, this, as long as a camera has an air, so if his camera has a microphone and a light jack, not a jack, like a jack where you can plug it and attach it to your camera, then you can order this and it'll fit. But a lot of people has told me like Canons don't have those attachments for microphones or the lights, which is why so many people have switched over to the Sony because my camera, I can attach my microphone and my light and hold it. But I don't know if that Canon can do that. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Um, let me show you though what I initially wanted to show you. I'm so is proud of myself. Is it the Thingy that you're trying to do? Yes. And I just, I when I tell you, I figure things out. I didn't even look up a YouTube video. I said I can figure this I was, out. I texted you trying to say that I know how to do it. Well, I figured it out, and it turned out better than I expected. So let, let me just show you my hard work. Okay. Okay. Let me show this to you. ready can you see it yes ah! oh it's so good <laughs> it's so good <laughs> that's in canva bitch i literally just looked up a photo frame and then i deleted everything and i used 
the template to insert my own photos and videos. This is too cute. Isn't that cute? So that's an example. I just wanted to use that video as an example. Oh, I know. I want. I got this from Pinterest. So I got that background photo from Pinterest. And then I found this thingy, like the frame. I looked up, I do elements. And then you go, I saw this button, it said frame. And I go, oh my God, this is where you can choose it and then insert whatever video or photo you want. So I was like, that's easy as shit. So figured it out. Now my only issue though is when I'm doing my intro videos, now my only issue is when I'm doing my intro videos right, how am I gonna just do those? Bless my sissy, she called me and I, we just rambled, we rambled, that's what we do. So I had to chit chat with her for a second. But um, I think I was in the middle of showing you guys what I did today. So I did that air fryer thing, yes, then I meal prepped. I threw my potatoes in the air fryer because air fried potatoes, best, the best, the best kind of crunchy, soft, just potato form ever. I love, oh, my cat scared the bejesus out of me. I genuinely, I don't think I'll ever go back to making a potato any other way besides air fryer because the air fryer just does it, it does it. But let me show you what I meal prepped. I meal prepped beef, eggs, oh my goodness, that's water that is dripping on the ground because of this. Oopsie. But I, um, what did I meal prep? I did, I did beef, eggs, one pepper, and then just like seasonings and stuff, any kind of seasonings. So I have that now prepped for the week, and then I have my potatoes. And then what I'll do every morning is I'll just put it into a bowl, put some cheese, melt it, call it good. And what's nice with the, this kind of meal is you can literally make it into like a burrito. You could put it as tacos. You could put it over rice, literally anything. And I love it. It's so easy. I've literally been eating this meal for like, I want to say over a year now and I don't eat it every day. I just, it's just probably my most popular though breakfast ever. Um, but yeah, I did that this morning. I already ate a bowl of it. I had my coffee and yeah. I'm, Miss Sheets, Miss Sheets. What are you doing up there, missus? What are you doing, mama? Mom Jama. Do you mind Miss Sheets? She's a talker, guys. You thought I was a talker? She's a talker. Both of my cats are talkers, which is why I'm trying to edit with no more like cutting up my footage because I want you guys to see the life that I live with these cats. That's Rio. Rio's laying over there. He usually would be talking, but he's been fed, so he's good. Once he's been fed, he's a quiet little guy. Like he just hangs out. But in the morning, he's a yapper. She's a yapper. They're both yappers. They get it from me and I don't, it makes sense. But anyway, God, I'm such a rambler. I, I don't know where I was going with those thoughts. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? What was I talking about, mate? Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, I did all that today. The one thing, <laughs> the one thing that I said in this video, I think yesterday, that I was like, of all the things that I need to get done, I need to get done with that one thing was clean the litter box. Didn't do that yet. So low key, I think I might do that um, in a second. But yeah, there is one thing that I low key want to do today just because I don't think it'll take long as I kind of want to meal prep dinner, which I bought. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. I bought these at Trader Joe's. It's like all natural shaved beef steak. I got two of these and they're thinly sliced. So if I cook them, I'm guessing it's probably just gonna take like three to four minutes to cook. And then I bought um, some kind of like udon noodles from Trader Joe's. And then I'm gonna fry that with this, with a bell pepper, zucchini, carrots, and onion in a pan and just call it good. Hopefully it's good. It was like an idea that I got from Hello Fresh. Let me put this back in the fridge. But um, yeah, no, it was an idea that I got from Hello Fresh, and I was like, you know what? That looks good. Which I don't. This is a hack. I don't know if any of you guys don't have like many ideas when it comes to cooking. I know I don't. Like I, I have recipes and meals that I stick to every week or every month. But 
I get bored of them. You know what I mean? Like I love to cook the same thing every single week because it's easy and it's the, I find it the most efficient thing to do when it comes to like meal prepping and setting up my week. But I get sick of some, some of the meals that I eat cause I'm just, I'm eating it on repeat. You know what I mean? So something that I've done recently is I'll go, I don't know if you know this, but on HelloFresh, you can literally just look up HelloFresh recipes and it'll explain to you all of the recipes and like you can browse through their website. You don't have to have a membership or like a subscription to HelloFresh to view any of their recipes. Like you can look that up for free and it'll tell you all of the ingredients. It'll tell you how to make it, etc. which I thought was crazy because I was like, wait, all of this is free. Like I don't need to have a subscription to cook this i think i think the only reason why people if if i'm the if i'm not the only one that didn't know this i feel like a lot of people what am i trying to say i can't talk i didn't know about this because i generally thought you had to have like a subscription to it and like order the boxes of food and then have access to like how to cook it and view the recipes and view the ingredients I thought you had to like get boxes ordered to your house to be able to even view that kind of side of the HelloFresh, but you don't. So I've been just taking advantage of that and going on their website and just browsing and then writing down everything that I need going to the store because I I like to cook. Like I don't mind if I have to go to the store to get the stuff. Like it doesn't have to be delivered to my doorstep. I just want to have recipe ideas. You know what I mean? And HelloFresh has a lot of them. I don't have a subscription. I don't have like a freaking code to use. I'm not trying to like hype them up. I just genuinely was like, whoa, this is cool. Didn't know you could do this. And yeah, so um, I found that somewhat recipe. I think they used like beef sirloin tips in the recipe on their website, but I found that and I was like, that looks like it cook faster because it's thinly sliced. So I got those. Um, and because I have, I want to say like two hours until work, I think what I'll do is I'll fry up the steak because that's the only thing that I think will take the longest. And then tonight after work, or even like right now while the steak's cooking, I'll boil the noodles. Um, but I feel like this could only take 30 minutes, which is why I want to do it now because I have to go to work tonight. And bless my work. Like again, this is not a complaint. It's just a preference of mine. I So my workplace, they cook us food. Very grateful. Like I'm not complaining that they cook us food. Like that is amazing. Like I'm so grateful that I get to go to work and have food for me prepped and made. But sometimes it's a lot of the repeat like things that they make us. And a, the one thing that they've been cooking for us recently at work on repeat is um, pork. And I'm not a fan of eating pork every day just because of like certain reasons, which I won't go into depth. But for me, I don't prefer to have pork in my diet on a daily basis just because I don't find that it's good for you not necessarily because it's a fatty meat i love having like foods that have lots of fat in it it's just pork specifically like knowing how pork is you know whatever i just don't prefer to have pork on a daily basis so i would like to meal prep just so i could have it and then i could take it to work and have that for dinner but yeah i'm so sorry i just rambled i mean i'm not sorry i'm sorry i'm not sorry that is who I am. So why am I even apologizing? But um, yeah, that's all I did yesterday. That's what I've done today. Hopefully if this doesn't take long, I can sit down and read. Um, but yeah, this is just what I like to do when I'm trying to reset my week and get my like Sunday reset set up for my week. Because if I do this once a week, I don't have to do this like cooking. I don't have to clean like obviously i have to clean and obviously i have to cook and like warm up my food but it just makes my week so much better so much better so if i have to do this just once a week i will do it because i would rather spend one day cooking for two hours and cleaning for two three hours versus doing it every single day of the week like that just that does not sound like my kind of style i don't I don't want to cook and I don't want to clean every single day. Like I even bought paper plates, man, recently because I was like, the, the cleaning is really doing me in. Like 
I've been really just losing my mind over hand washing dishes every day. And you're probably like, girl, don't you have a dishwasher? Yes, I do. But guess what? Using the water, the dishwasher uses so much water in a cycle. And me, I'm not going to pay extra month, extra money a month because I'm using the dishwasher when I could easily just hand wash it all in the sink. So I will do that because I feel like personally I get done with hand washing in like 30 minutes when a cycle takes like an hour maybe plus and that uses so much water man so much water and so i just don't want if, if i can save money i'm gonna do it so yeah anyway that is the end of my ramble for today i just wanted to update you guys and give you guys some insight as to like what my little sunday monday weekly reset looks like because it helps me so hopefully it can help you but I will check in back with you guys once I have fin or figured out what I want to do. Um, but yeah, anyway, love you. Bye-bye now. Hello, friends and foes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. What is up? What did my eyes just do? I felt like I just like rolled my eyes in a really weird way and it looked a little cray-cray. So, cray-cray. Nope, we're not bringing that word back. Nope. Nope. Anyway, um... I'm sorry. I swear, every time I get on this video, I have just like a moment of like, I spaz out for a second because I get really excited that I turned the camera on. So like all the energy is piling up and it comes out, it comes out okay? Anyway, um, I wanted to update you guys. I, 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 I'm gonna show like a little B-roll clip, but I actually just finished cooking dinner. Yeah, I did dinner. Yeah, I cooked it. I cooked it. I meal prepped it. It's done for the week. Yeah, I did that. I did that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I haven't meal prepped like this in a minute. And I'm telling you, yet again, it would not have been possible if it weren't for you guys. So yeah i just i ended up buying which oh my god i'm so happy i'm gonna probably if i don't get sick of it this week um i'll probably buy more of it next week but the shaved beef steak from trader joe's that took literally four minutes to cook entirely i did two batches of it because i bought two little containers of it so i cooked the first batch like three to four minutes fully cooked because it's thinly sliced and it browns so fast um and then i cooked the other batch so literally a total of two like large portions of beef steak i burped fully cooked in a total of like 10 minutes crazy crazy to me that's crazy that was the easiest meal prep ever and then i fried up some zucchinis onions and one pepper that i had left over and now i have dinner prepped for the next week and my job thankfully has rice and like veggies and kimchi and all that kind of stuff so i don't even have to have any sides prepped i probably didn't even have to freaking meal prep veggies but i wanted to because i like those veggies and veggies are yummy and they add flavor to your food so i did a few veggies but i i really didn't have to but i did it anyway um yeah i did that i was gonna do some noodles but i didn't have time so i might do that tomorrow um but i didn't have time to do it today because whatever so yeah i got breakfast meal prep today and dinner that's insane to me insane that's freaking crazy like how did i how did i do that how did we do that we did that um but yeah i want to show you guys that's what i tried to i haven't done that in forever but when i was in my like consistent routine that's what i would aim for is hitting breakfast and dinner meal prep and it helped me so much throughout the week like so freaking much and if i go really heavy on the protein in both my breakfast and my dinner usually my breakfast will hold me off until dinner depending on what i make and what i meal prep if it's a lot of carbs i notice like i I get hungrier faster but if it's a lot of protein i stay full throughout the whole day like in a way like i might want a snack or something to drink um but besides that like i stay full so long um so yeah we did that i'm so happy so happy that's done i'm so glad that that's out of the way like i literally don't have to think about that for the next week and what's also a little tmi sorry um period talk for the girlies 
for the girlies just beware if you're a dude even though i don't think you're a dude watching this but if you are i'm gonna be talking about my period so skadoodle skedaddle um what's so nice about meal prepping like this too is for me at least it helps balance my hormones insanely like when i tell you ever since i started eating a heavy breakfast and a heavy dinner in terms of like protein and fats um and also like a, a key factor is having i want to say just like two heavy meals like that in a day versus like three i've noticed my hormones are just insanely better like towards my period week like i don't have painful periods i haven't had a painful period i want to say in three months three to four months which is wild to me and i don't know i just i'm really proud of myself because i it's been consistently like that every month and that's shocking to me because i deal with insanely or i've dealt with insanely crucial like extreme period pains in the past and i never understood like how to help that until i noticed like meal prepping the way that i do and going down to i want to say about two heavy meals a day instead of three it's just it's helped me and i know for me like when it comes to setting up myself for the week it's important to do that because it just makes everything else easier so i wanted to show you guys anyway i need to go get ready for work so i will probably i don't know when the next time i will talk to you guys i I'll see you when I see you, okay? I will see you when I see you. But I love you. Goodbye for now. And I will talk to you fairly shortly, okay? Bye. Look at my baby. My baby. The stretches. I love him. He's my real baby. Yeah, you are, Bubba. Look at those toes. Yeah. Yeah, you are Bubba. I love you. I love you, Mr. Rowe. I love you, Mr. Rowe. I love you, my little baby. If you don't have a cat, get a goddamn cat. Look at those toes. Look at those toes. Hi, Bubba Bear. Oh, he's happy. He just had his breakfast, guys. He had his little, what'd you eat, babe? He had a hard-boiled egg. Oh, the toe stretches, I missed it. I missed the toe stretch, but look at that toe. The toe. He had a hard boiled egg, blueberries, spinach, and then a little bit of chicken because the, the egg was pretty big. It was big, we had it mashed, and it didn't, if I, I put a lot of chicken, if I put a lot of chicken on top, he would have been possibly getting sick. So we went with a good little balance of egg with a little bit of chicken so we pretty much had an egg a chicken egg salad for breakfast in a way anyway um anyway look at him look at him ro you are too damn cute oh ro bear you are too damn cute my little guy look at his little honey foot his little footy oh i'm sorry i'm sorry bubba every time he has his breakfast guys he always sits on me and hangs out and i'm like god i'm so blessed like that's i'm, I'm gonna cry if i oh when i think about my kitties too long i'm like oh my god my life could be so different it could be so dark if i didn't have this damn cat and mind you i have two kitties i don't oh wait you guys already know this i feel like i've showed you guys the kitties before in the videos but my life would be so different without these cats like no joke no freaking joke man no joke get a cat or a dog get an animal because i feel like i'm a changed gal i'm a changed woman i i'm a mom i'm a mother you could be a mother anyway anyway i will calm it down because i could just keep on going forever about these kitties i really could all wrong anyway um i think the he just kicked me hard is hard as balls right now anyway sorry i was gonna say the s word but i was like i don't want to i'm trying to not curse a whole lot i'm trying we're trying but um i think i talked with you guys last yesterday after i finished cleaning a ton and I didn't really talk with you guys much after that, but I don't know if I've shown you a whole lot when it comes to this like weekly reset. 
I didn't do a ton, but there was some things that I didn't show you because I didn't do them. Jake ended up taking down like six, five, four bags of trash the other day um, after I cleaned out the fridge because I had like all that trash was from one, the recycling, our trash, the shower. When I did the bathroom, I had to like take down the shower curtain and I threw away like a ton of different things, including the shower curtain. So that needed a bag of on its own. Um, and then all the other bags were honestly just from the fridge, from the fridge and maybe around the house. So Jake, thank goodness, took down all of those bags. Um, and then, then what happened? Oh, then he vacuumed. I asked him if he could vacuum because I was like, I did so much cleaning. I was like, even though I love to vacuum, I really love a good vacuum moment, but I didn't feel like doing it. I was so tired. So he thankfully vacuumed. Um, I don't know if he did the bedroom though. I don't think he did the bedroom because I went in there and there was like a few things on the ground that I know the vacuum would have picked up. I think he forgot to do the bedroom. But anyway, um, those are some things that you guys didn't get to see that I did when it came to the little weekly reset. But I wanted to bust out the camera because I feel like it wouldn't be a reset if I didn't read. And you're probably like, how is that a part of the weekly like reset? Let me explain, okay? When my home is clean, I feel so good. When the home is clean, I feel good, I do good. And when, one of the good things that I do, oops, one of the good things that I do is reading. And reading would not happen if my home wasn't clean and it didn't feel cozy and put together. So we're gonna read and I already know that's gonna make my day feel so much better. And when I, like I said, if I feel better, then the domino effect keeps going. So we are gonna read. I don't really know what I wanna read. I did end up purchasing, which, oh my God, let me vent for a second on this. I'm very annoyed at myself. I purchased, uh, I think it's called A Novel Love Story by Ashley Poston, Poten? I don't know. I purchased it on my Kindle. I didn't know what the book was about. I've never heard any, like I've seen a few booktubers read it, but I generally, anytime I hear them talk about a book, I usually skip through it. So I didn't really hear them talk about all the good things and about you should annotate this book and it's the best book to annotate. I didn't hear any of that. So I wouldn't have purchased it on my Kindle if I knew that I should have just bought the book because I'm a very much like an annotated girl. Like I want to, make the pages look cute like i will doodle and draw on the pages so hard and write my reactions in it and dog tail i want the book to be a warning if it's like a book that i know i'm gonna treasure and i'm really sad that i like impulsively bought it on my kindle because i just oh i, I started and the reason why i know now that i wish i should have done that is because i watched a video from tiffany recently and she was like expressing how I think that she, or was it Tiffany? I think it was Tiffany, yeah. And she was expressing how like the book was so good, like one of those books that like you just want, or no, was it Tiffany or was it, I don't remember who it was, it was somebody. And they just were saying that they love the book and like it's the perfect book to annotate and stuff. And I, when I heard that in my heart, I was like, oh my God. And I know like, that's not a big deal. I could easily, honest, honestly, I could, I think I'm still gonna buy it now that I think about it because I do this a lot with books. I'll have the physical copy and then at night I'll purchase it because I wanna read it in bed and I'll just purchase it, purchase it off of Kindle and I'll read it both in the physical form and on Kindle. So in a way I definitely could still buy the book. Should I do that? I think that's what I'll do. Cause it's actually, so the, the this novel or this something uh, love story book, sorry, I can't even think about the name. It's our book club read. It's, uh, so my sissy, she started a book club and y'all should join if you guys haven't. I don't know how you join, but it's on Fable and it's called the book you already get. I don't know if you can like look that up and just join, but join because it, there's like 12 of us in there and we've only read, this is I think the third book so far, but the first book we read was just for the summer and that was just Lizzie and I. And then we had other people join and then there was like another book. I didn't read the second book because I've been in such a book slam 
slump but this one it's like my vibe and i think it's matching like the summer vibes and the energy that i need so i think it is it's it, at least from what i've heard it sounds like it could be really good i don't know for me it just sounds like a book i think initially without knowing much about that i would want to read for the summer so i'm definitely gonna try to read this one but um frickety frack i can't remember where i was going with that thought where was i going with that oh yeah it's a part of the book club so i really want to start reading it because i think it's the july book read for the month and we're already through july a lot of it and i i feel like it could bring me out of my slump i don't know i'm just taking a wild guess but i have a feeling that it could possibly get me out of the slump and i'm really hoping it does so we're gonna read because this is how i reset the week i have to make sure i clean and then after i clean i always read that to me i don't know about you but that sounds like a great month or a great week that is a great week in itself i can't get over how cute this freaking bean is he just sheeps all day anyway we're gonna sit here and we're gonna read i need to go grab a new battery which i don't know how i'm gonna grab a battery with this little bug on me i can't ruin his sleep my little bug oh right as we're talking about the book club i see sissy post she oh my god stop i'm so excited okay i'm gonna read this so fast because sorry rio i just i yelled that and it woke him up so she just announced let me read this let me read this the bookyard again so lizzo made it an, an announcement hey club excited to announce that our next book will be dun, dun, dun. what will it be featured by emily henry this time this will be my first emily henry book i've read and i'm so oh wait i need to open this i'm reading this whole thing i don't care how long this is i need to share this with you guys hold on the app is opening okay she said uh this will be my first emily henry book i've ever read and i'm so excited what about y'all what about y'all girl i'm so excited i'm so excited sissy if you're watching this i'm so freaking excited because i've never read an emily henry book and if i'm correct if i'm correct it's similar to or it's like along the lines of like abby jimenez writing when you like feel the feels it literally tears you apart and it makes you feel good and it's just amazing i want to say that's like anytime i hear people say abby jimenez i also hear them talk about emily henry so hopefully the writing is similar because just for the summer by abby jimenez was my first book by her and when i tell you i love that book with a passion there's actually a video i made recently back or was it my last video it was like two videos ago that i read just for the summer by abby jimenez so if you guys haven't watched that go watch that because you get to watch me fall apart and cry and just i'm in my feels when i read that book and i it, that book brought me out of a slump so good in the best way possible and i hope that beach read i've heard good things about beach read amazing things so i'm really hoping that that book also uh, helps me like continue out of my book slump i'm really hoping the novel love story book does too but i'm so excited for the i need to answer that i will catch up with you guys soon okay why Can't swallow 